Everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to deactivate your PlayStation 5 as primary when you do not have the console. So let's go ahead and jump to the video right now. So if you do not have your PlayStation 5 anymore, maybe it got stolen or you gave it away or you sold it, how would you go ahead and deactivate it so you no longer can do console sharing and offline play on that specific console. Now this is very easy to do. Go on over to a web page. I'm gonna use my computer. Then go to playstation.com right here, type that in, hit enter. Then in the upper right, go to the sign in option right here, and then sign in with your email address and password associated with your PlayStation account. So I'm already logged in, once you log in, your profile will appear right here. Go ahead and select it and a drop down menu will appear now. Then go to account settings and select that option. Now on the left hand side, scroll all the way down to device management and select that. Then go over to the right and you'll see PlayStation consoles. So let's select that. Then you can see the PlayStation 4 on the top and the PlayStation 5 on the bottom. Then you can select your PlayStation 5. You can rename it. But if you go back, you have to Go to where it says deactivate all devices. So you can deactivate devices that you no longer have by selecting deactivate all devices. So you can't just deactivate one or the other. You have to do this with the PlayStation 4 and the PS5. So let's go to deactivate all devices and just see what it says. All devices that are activated on your account will be deactivated. You can only deactivate your console every six months. To play games on a deactivated console, you'll need to reactivate it. If you want to deactivate this, go to yes. Now, you'll have to go back to your PlayStation 5 once you get it, or when you buy a new PlayStation 5, and then reactivate it as your primary. So you'd want to go to settings, users, and accounts, then go to other, console sharing, and offline play, and just make sure you enable this when you get a new PlayStation. So that is how you would completely deactivate it if you no longer have your console anymore for your PlayStation 4 or even your PS5. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.